as we're pulling up to the boat to Isla Palenque, uh, you know, we're cruising through the water and we're seeing all these different islands and Ben and I are looking at each other like, which one is it, which one is it? It was reminiscent of Jurassic Park when the team is flying in a helicopter and all of a sudden the island pops up. It was like the music was sounding in my head. And eventually Aris just points ahead and he says, that's Isla Palenque and we're like, Wow, that's, that's where we're gonna be living for a month and a half. As you pull up to the island, it's just like uh, this mysterious island and you see the trees and stuff from the outside but you have no idea what lies beneath that. When I came across Isla Palenque, where here we had 400 acres, you know, miles of coastline, miles of beach. It was like having, you know, 20 development opportunities in one. So we're able to kind of think of having not just a single hotel somewhere and then you're gonna go out and do things, but to have all that stuff in your backyard. I probably spent, you know, uh, the equivalent of three or four weeks out here before I really felt that I knew the island. The nature trails, expose you to so many different environments. The scenery just changes before your eyes. You've got 12 beaches, each one with its own personality, its own distinct shape, size, different color of sand, different patterns with the rising and falling tide. When I do get to go to the beach, you know, it's nothing like it is here. There's usually planes and cars passing by and kids screaming and yelling. You know, this is a beach where there's like no one on it. Being the only person on the entire beach with nothing around you but the sound of the waves and a good book to read. Now that is something that you do not find in too many parts of the world. What was really exciting here was, uh, you know, normally when you see wildlife like this, it's at a zoo and it's behind a pane of glass or behind the railings and, you know, nature's over here and humans are over here and, you know, you don't interact. Uh, but here, you're completely immersed in the wildlife. You're not separate from it at all. You're just, you're living with them. If you're hungry, you can pull a fruit off of the tree, or if you're thirsty, you can grab a coconut and hack it open. <laughs> uh, so cool, man.